What's important to you? Um, what's important to me? Being happy and making sure everyone around me is taken care of. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. How about you? Who's your yes what's friends? important to you? Important to me? Other than enjoying life? Yeah. Uh, I mean, people who are nice to me. <laughs> <clears throat> People who are nice to you? Yeah. How about those who are not nice to you? I just don't bother with them. Just say, whatever. Whatever happens, happens to them. I don't oh, you care. do? Yeah. Do you, do you uh, are you a Christian? Uh, I'm a Mormon, LDS. So, whatever that is, I'm a Christian, I don't know. <laughs> You're Mormon, LDS? Yeah. What's the LDS? Uh, I think it's Latter day Saints. You're not sure? I, no, yeah, I'm sure. That's what it is. And, and how did you become a Mormon? Was it an accident or something? I was you know, born into it. My mom's family, my mom's side oh. of the family is Mormon. My dad's not, so I was born into it. Um, you know, they never really forced it on me. Oh, I see. Yeah. Did, did you live in Utah? <laughs> Isn't that where they're from? No. no. Actually, no, there's an example for there's, there's more Mormons in like Wyoming and stuff like that. Like, than Utah? Than Utah, yeah. But no, a lot of them in Utah, right? Yeah, there's a lot. That's like the hub of it, because oh, that's, yeah. where, that's where the school of BYU is. And they have a bunch of white babies. Um, I, I guess. I don't, there's actually a lot of diversity up in Utah. You'd be surprised. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, are you a Christian? No, I'm Muslim. You're Muslim? Yes. Really? Yeah. You like, <laughs> are you like one of those Allah U Abba people? What, is, what do you think that <laughs> word means? Um, well, I know, I don't know what it means, but I but know what I hear out loud, you, what's going to happen next. <laughs> what, what's that supposed to represent? Chopping off the head. Chopping off the head. Oh, oh, okay. oh, so what does that word mean? I'm about to take your head off. Really? Yeah. Okay, what's the actual definition of that word? Uh, die. Die? <laughs> it actually means God is great. That's all it means. And God is great. Well, why do they have to yell that out before they get chopped your head off? Oh, because they're radical and they give peop good Muslims a bad name, actual Muslims a bad uh, name. Yes. How yes. come Muslims don't protest against them? They are. Where are they not protesting? I never see them in the street anywhere here protesting. Um, I mean, have you ever been to a mosque? Oh, yeah. Which mosque have you been to? Culver City. Hollywood. And have you, have you asked the imams there how they feel about radical Muslims? No, when I see them get on their knees and they go, oh. So what you're doing I'm is, so what you're doing is like, making, what the? <laughs> <laughs> so what you're doing is making fun of the way we pray. Is uh, that what it is? It scares me. Why? Because I don't know what they say. Because he doesn't understand it. Yeah. I said what? Because he doesn't understand it. Right. So it scares do, you, you. do you speak any other and language? I don't know. They're trying to cut my head off Do you speak? <laughs> do you speak any other language? Are you afraid of... No. Can, I, can I ask you no, a question? No. Okay, so let's say if I speak my native language is Urdu, you would be scared? Why? Yeah. Kyun? I'd be like, English. Why? <laughs> because this is America. Okay, and? But isn't, isn't America multicultural? Yes. It shouldn't be, though. Why? Because it divides us. Because huh? these people come in from the, all these different countries, mm -hmm. and they bring their crazy ideas with them, uh -huh. and they want to turn this country to their idea where they came from. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Do you? Um, I mean, I, I'm more for diversity. What's wrong with diversity? I mean, we have multicultural food, multicultural clothes. I think cultural differences is what makes us be together. Is what no. helps us. And why is that? Becoming one makes us be together. Yeah, we're one human. One nation under God. Yeah, we're one nation with so we're one nation with multicultural groups. But I don't like that. But why is it? Because I I think that's I'm I don't want to use the word racist, but I think that's where you're coming off across as. What, what do you mean? Is that you don't want people from other races to come into America because of their race? No, because of that and their crazy ideas too. So are you agreeing to being racist? Is that what it is? I'm not. No such thing as racism. You don't think there's racism? And no. So if you hate, so let's say hypothetically, I don't like your skin color. Which is not true, but would that not would that not be racist? <laughs> no. Why would that not be racist? It'd be hateful. It is hateful. Yeah, racism but is it, is hateful. isn't racism no. isn't racism hateful? No. I don't understand why not. Because it's not. You either love or you hate. No, no, no. But why is it not? I know it's not. But why is it not? Because it doesn't exist. No such thing as racism. No such thing as racism. It's either you agree or disagree. Either you have hate or you have love. I mean. Uh -huh. There is a very too simple. There's to a very it. broad. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, there, there's, there's, there's a very a broad definition of racism. There. Yeah. So what? I mean, there's a gray area there's between no gray. hate and Where's love. Where's the gray? You can't just go every oh like this is bad so it's hate. This is good so it's love. There's there's stuff in between that line for like sure. Like what? What's between it? Racism. <laughs> yeah, racism. No, yeah, it's exactly. A made up word. 
So all words are made up. <laughs> Especially those kind of words. Racism? Uh, all right, what else? No, is but it's no such thing as racism, sexism, homophobiaism, Islamophobiaism, dead be dadism, anti, uh, I mean, white supremacism. No isms. No isms at no all. Ism, no I mean, ism, no ism, I mean, ism, I think no isms. isms are a bad thing, but they they're, 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 they're definitely, made up by the isms children are definitely of the lie. a real thing. <laughs> they're made up by the children of the lie. What are the children of the lie? Uh, the liberal media, uh, the Democratic Party, the uh, right old Republicans, the black race hustlers, and the never Trumpers, people who hate good. They make up words to deceive you. You so, said Republicans were in there too, right? Yeah, right. Okay, okay. Ryan, what's, so like what all Ryan, politics, basically. So, no, no, yeah. wait, he said Rhino Republicans. What are Rhino Republicans? Oh, he did. He didn't say Anybody gotta, except the great white hope. Everybody except Trump. Yeah. Trump. Okay, so you think Trump See, is good. Did you know who the great white hope was? I, if I really thought about it, I could figure it out because I have heard it before. Yeah. <laughs> really? And see, he, yeah, he, he knew that. right away Trump, right? Yeah, well, because I've watched... Trump's the great white hope? Yeah. Yeah, he's called no, Trump. No, he's not. <laughs> yeah, see, who did you think I was talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he did just but get you impeached, said you right? you could figure it out. I've heard it before, so if so, I really... So did you celebrate him getting impeached? He just, he's not impeached. Well, he's, well, he's officially the, impeached, but now the Senate, now there's yeah. going to be a trial. No, it was it's an like, act, all an act. He, really? They didn't find him guilty of so, anything. So if... They, it was just all actors on a stage. So if you go to Wikipedia and search up impeached presidents, right? tell me if you see Donald Trump there or not. No. No? Can uh, you do that right now? He's not there. Can you do that right now? Just, just Wikipedia... You may uh, see him there, but it's still not real. It was an act. Is it because of liberal did media? Did you believe that it was real? Oh, uh, yeah. What did he do to deserve impeachment? I mean, um, what was that... Obstruction of um, obstruction of Congress and then foreign affairs. What he, did he do to obstruct Congress? With Ukraine. Do you not know what happened with Ukraine? Do you believe that that happened? Yeah. Why do you believe that? Uh, because, I mean, he withheld military aid to Why Ukraine. Why do you believe that what they said was true? Even though when they saw, when they got the transcript of the actual what mm -hmm. really happened, uh -huh. there was no evidence of that at mm -hmm. all. Why do you believe that that happened? So, uh, let's say... It's, Let's say if I didn't believe it. But you do. I yeah, no, know no, why. I do. But let's say if I don't believe it. Why tell me, do you believe but it? But tell me why. Tell me why question. he would get impeached for that if it wasn't true. I will. But tell I'm me. just a puny person in the middle of nowhere. My <laughs> opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, what, it ma does. what matters is the people who make the choices. And tell me why, if it wasn't true, why he got impeached. After you tell me why do you believe it did happen when there's I mean, no I'm gonna, proof that it did. I'm going to believe multiple news sources. I don't believe one single news source. I believe multiple news sources. Why do you believe them? I mean, it's a good question. Why do you believe what you believe? No, you didn't ask my question yet. Uh, why do I believe them? Because uh, based off of facts. What facts did they have? And in what situation? Are you talking about Trump or are you talking yeah, about Trump. in I'm general? Trump. You're talking about the great white hope. <laughs> um, <laughs> Trump. You're totally talking about Trump. I, let's make that clear. What facts did they have that would cause them to I mean, okay, so, so if he threatened to withhold military aid, do you not think that's... He uh, didn't threaten that. He didn't? No. So, so people are just, hey, he did that, so let's impeach him? Right. So he's impeached. He's phony <laughs> impeached. It's not real. Okay. Did you believe that about him? What? Well, how do you feel about the uh, the Great White Hope being so-called impeached? I mean, he's technically being impeached right now. Technically. He, um, how is he technically being impeached when it's all an act? They found you, nothing that he did wrong. Well, that's part of what everyone's complaining about because like a lot of people feel like they didn't find anything that they did wrong they right. also stepped over the checks and balances of the constitution to get him impeached right. which will open up a door for when the democrats have a president the republicans go we don't like you we're going to step over the checks and balances of the constitution so they really they really fuck things up for the country am i allowed to say that yeah. sorry no that's all right that's okay. how millennials talk <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but uh but they really opened a door they shouldn't have opened right you know and it if even like like, I read a lot of stuff on it. Like, I don't just listen. I, like, I do research for months at a time. Like, I really, and, like, the things that I've read, it's all this says, this says, this says, this says, and it, there's not really any evidence of either side being correct or telling the truth of anything. Well, at least so, on their side, for sure. Yeah, like, the last thing I read is that the, wit the main witness of this impeachment won't be on trial. They won't give his name. No one knows who he is. He didn't have firsthand experience of what was going on. So how are they actually impeaching him? And I don't even know if that's true because there are so many opposing things going on. It's that's like, right. it's just, honestly, it's just like. So what do you think about Hassan? He's ready to believe anything. 
I mean, you can believe what he's he's a smart guy. He builds his own opinions, and like my opinion but is he all have of this his own stuff. Opinion. He only has the opinion of someone else. He said what? He only has the opinion of someone else. No, he's oh, he's he's, he's made his own opinion. So, no, no, no. He just said multiple news sources. So how do you get? So your what do you news? think about a guy who only has the opinion of someone else and not knowing for himself? I mean, that's kind of like what I just described. You really don't have a choice but to build your own opinion off of what other people you are saying. You do have a choice. What, it's what choice do you have? Nowadays. So are you telling me that I should talk to Trump myself and ask him? If you, and that's if, the only way I can make my opinion. Did you talk no, to, hold on, did you talk to Trump? Is that how you know that he didn't do it? You can do what uh, uh, he did, is to read and find out for yeah. yourself what's true. Well, is that not what we do with news? I mean, what's the difference between listening to news and reading the news? The liberal media hate Trump, so they're never going to change the truth about anything. So everything is a lie? Yeah. How do you know that? Have you noticed so, wait, that no. since they, he first entered office, right, as uh -huh. president, they said way back then, we're going to impeach him. He got voted in. It's Ill illegitimate. We are going to impeach him. They've been talking that from day one. Mm -hmm. And so they had nothing to do it then. What do you think about that? I mean, we were, ex not we, the Democrat Party was expecting something to happen. Some, but, for him to do something stupid, I mean... It's Trump. You were, Is that a reason to say I'm going to impeach someone? I mean, no. Because you're expecting something no. to happen? Right. I'm not going to stand up for a party just because I have aligning but beliefs. But you're standing I'm, up for the Democrats right now. I'm standing up for what happened. Are you a Democrat? Um, sure. I'll rest my case. <laughs> what? You I'll rest my case. Are you a Democrat? I'm neither. Screw politics. What? <laughs> Screw politics. They're all just a bunch of freaking rich liars who don't care about anything but their bank account. Do you vote? I do, yeah. I usually vote for third-party people who are never going to win. That's who I voted, but I, re I regret I mean, I don't regret I it, mean, but. honestly, this whole impeachment thing, everything that's been going on, okay, let's talk about the fact that Jeffrey Epstein had every like powerful person in politics going to his island yeah. and having sex with underage children for the past 20 years, and no one's talking about it. Honestly... This whole impeachment thing might even just be a cover be a up for that for him. to mean, make people focus on that and not is. the fact that they're all a bunch of freaking perverts. That's part of it, but they hate the president too. Yeah, I think everybody yeah. kind of hates the president Wait, right how, now. <laughs> how, do you, how do you know they hate the president? Because they, from day one, they were shocked that he won. But how are you? And they have not gotten over the shock. And how do you know that? What articles are you reading? It's all over. It's apparent. So you're because so they you're have taking nothing on the guy. And day one, they talked about impeachment. So you're taking. I know other why they opinion. hate him. Do you know why they hate him? No. Why are you a Democrat? Real men are not Democrats. <laughs> why not? Beta. Why are you well, a Democrat? Well, why don't you ask me about my beliefs instead of generalizing me? Why don't you ask me are about you a my Democrat? beliefs? Yes. That's your belief. Why are you a Democrat? Why? Because I have aligning beliefs and I think everyone should be taken care of. What is it about the Democratic Party that you believe? Um, I mean, there's multiple things. One, Medicare for all. One, making sure everyone is stable. And one, making sure everyone has food in their mouth. But that sounds like a mother. What? That sounds like a mama. Yes, it does. So you feel like a mama? Um, yeah, I'll be more than happy to take care of people. I do that on a daily basis. I make sure everyone around me is fed. But if you're thinking that way. Why not? So, so hold man, on, hold on. So, man so, believe that you should work for yourself. So, you should earn your way. So, you should do this. So you if know. you see a homeless person on the street and you have extra food, you're not going to give him the food? Because, right. because he should work hard for it instead yeah. of, hey, I have this extra piece of bread. I'm just going to give it to him. Would you give a homeless person your bread? Yeah, I give homeless people food all the time. Why? Because they're hungry and I'm not. <laughs> but if, if they got up and went and got a job, would they be hungry? I mean, a lot of them do have jobs. If they went up and, I've been homeless got, before with jobs. If they got up and went and got a job, would they be hungry? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because the cost of if living is way too If they got a job, they would still be hungry? Yeah. See, I told you millennials are kind of missing on this half. <laughs>